episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you boys and girls. You dig what I'm saying? So as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, unfortunately, man, today's video is not so much of a positive banger. It's kind of more of like a, a SOS kind of banger, to be honest. Um, so... Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger, man. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We in with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lives, real lives. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. see that on Mopars and Mustangs so I was like why not be one of the first six gens to do it and go ahead and throw a kit on my car so I reached out to the company that um makes the kit grabbed the kit for Vader um took it to a shop got it installed just because you have to uh weld the spark plugs in the exhaust so um got it installed at a shop and the module was damaged prior to installation prior to us receiving it um so it ended up blowing out my p3 gauge as you guys see there's no gauge on this side of the steering wheel right now because it actually shorted it out so i had to send it over to p3 they're checking it out right now and um, they're gonna get back to me and we'll see if they need to send out a new one or what they had to do but yeah, man, the P3 gauge um, actually ended up shorting out. And so every time I would plug in the P3 gauge, this is what would happen. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, the button is there and everything. So right now, P3 is disconnected. Go ahead and fire the car up. just put it in drive and it just now reacted so yeah I don't know now disconnected literally disconnected that's it everything comes back to life check engine light stays on check engine light codes are reading uh, TCM lost com communication with TCM uh, lost communication with body chassis control module um, and those are pretty much all the codes. It's like 13 codes that's popping up, but it's all TCM and body control module. So yeah, man, as you guys see, like the car would literally just start spazzing out. Um, it would be tweaking. Like you would be driving, and if you were to plug it in while driving, it would literally cut all power. It's almost as if the car goes into like a limp mode, if you will. 
and yeah, like I said, you have no power. All the gauges turn off. All the lights cut on. And the car sounds different. It's just the whole nine. Um, so, like I said, sent the gauge off. Went ahead and reached out to the company. The owner of the company immediately sent out a new one. Great customer service. Um, got the new one with the new spark plugs. We went ahead, installed it in the car. Now, at first, we weren't getting any spark. Now, we're getting spark um, and no flame. Now, where the issue that I'm talking about lies, though, is within the electronics of the car, man. I'm not going to lie. So, like, basically, nowadays, when I park my car and I turn it off, I get a message on the dash telling me to put the car in park, even though it's already in park. Also, now my car does this when I turn it off. It says shift to park. I literally have to tap this forward. And then it allows the car to turn. I don't understand. And that's just one of the issues. The second issue is the car is almost, it's almost as if it's lagging on some certain shifts. Um, it's not consistent on a specific gear or anything like that. It's just at random points. It's almost as if there's a lag in between the shift. Um, I actually went out to Navasota with my boy Daniel and my boy Pless um, last Sunday. And while I was driving, you can literally hear the RPMs. You can hear it in the exhaust. Um, in between shifts, it's almost as if it's like delaying. So... I don't know and then the final thing is basically on my drls as you guys know the 6.5s and six gens in general have the drls and then they also have the fog lights below them um when my drls are active my fog lights are inactive but when my parking lights are on and the actual headlights are on then the fog lights are on so with that being said, I'm not 100% sure how to fix this issue. Since the last kit was installed, we did remove it because like I said, it was just causing so many problems with the car. I was hoping that once we removed it, the shift to park issue would you know, disappear, but it seems as though something somewhere is damaged. Um, whenever the kit was installed, you know, and we were enabling the kit, check engine light will cut on and the codes that it was throwing was loss of communication with the TCM and loss of communication with the BCM. There was about 13 to 15 codes just relating to the TCM and BCM. So I don't know if maybe the kit shorted something out within my car's computer. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm actually on my way to the shop right now. I'm gonna try to do a TCM relearn on the car. Hopefully that fixes my issue. I did go down underneath the car to the transmission and check out the shifter linkage to see if maybe it was just loose. I just needed to tighten it. And it seems to be pretty tight to me. Um, there wasn't nearly any turning at all of that bolt. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on right now. Hopefully the TCM relearn fixes the issue and then we don't have any more problems because as you guys know, I'm trying to throw the cam in the car and get the car ready for the next race season. So that being said, I need the car to be running healthy. You know what I mean? So we'll see what's going on um, and I'll keep you guys posted on everything that takes place. I actually forgot y'all, there's actually another issue that I'm facing. Um, with my radio i don't know if you guys have been in the loop with all the videos with vader but when i first got this car i was having mad problems with the simple mylink system the radio the apple car play whenever i would press a song it would literally play a different song completely different song um and i didn't know why or it would be like literally in the middle of a song and it would just change to a whole different song so like that being said, that same issue is now back again. And I don't know why, so I don't know, man. I hope that my car is like computer is okay. I hope it's enough light.
like this camera shoots versus my vlogging camera. I need to get a new lens for the vlogging camera, but I actually need to send it off because the little display on the vlogging camera is loose or screwed back out. And I already know how that goes, man. I don't know why it's steady having that issue. I don't know, man. Maybe this content is just too fire, too fuego, you feel me, for the camera to hold. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they be like self disconstructing themselves. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, man, that's what I'm. That's what I'm dealing with right now with Vader. Um, hopefully, I can get this stuff figured out. I really hope that this TCM relearn is the cure to my problems, especially with the fog lights, man. Because honestly, the car looks weird without the fog. excited man um but that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's video y'all could probably see where i'm at um through the, through the windows though no cap. but um anyway that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you guys are new to the channel turn on post notifications and subscribe if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below if you faced any issues like the ones that i'm facing and can kind of help me out or point me in the right direction um but yeah that being said I'm finna go ahead, get in here and clock in, and I'm gonna tap in with y'all later.